Fortnite Chapter 1 is back, but it's been over 1500 days since the real Fortnite Chapter 1 ended, but the cool stuff from back then still holds a special place in the hearts of longtime fans. So let's take a trip down memory lane and explore 25 awesome things that only the super OG Fortnite players remember. One unique cosmetic back in 2018 was the golf ball, and if you went to Lazy Links you could actually play and try to get a hole in one. In Chapter 1, you could carry up to 5 Big Shield, and Mini Shield had a limit of 10. Today, we all know them as Blue Shield and Green Med Kits, but it wasn't always like that. They used to be Grey Rarity for a while. You can't forget about the hidden Easter Egg in Retail Row. For a while, there was a huge Big Mouth Billy Bass on the wall, and if you emoted while looking at it, it would play music and start to dance. One of the weirdest features Fortnite added was when whenever you'd get a friend request, a random woman would tell you in the game. Aw, cool. Someone wants to be friends. What? If you were a big streamer, it would be a nightmare. Luckily, it only lasted for a few days. Another mistake Fortnite had was when they had no cap on ammo. This even included rockets, so you could go in a match, collect a whole inventory of RPGs, and destroy people with hundreds of rockets. One of the features we didn't fully appreciate in Chapter 4 was the ability to swim, which didn't exist in the early days of Fortnite. In those old times, if you accidentally fell off the map, you'd be sent right back to the lobby. This made going after chests like this 10 times riskier. But I understand why Fortnite decided to remove transparent edits. In the old days, when you edited your structures, the removed sections would become completely see-through. This meant you could hide in a box and simply use an edit to peek through a makeshift window, which was incredibly overpowered. And I always get nostalgia when I see what the old storm used to look like. You really don't realize how different it was until you look at the old cool hexagon design but I thought it was so cool. Just like the guided missile launcher, which was a classic weapon that made getting eliminations a piece of cake, all you had to do was shoot it into the air and steer it until it found an enemy to target, and boom, free kill. One of the funniest OG items is the creeping cardboard. It was randomly added in 2020 and allowed us to hide inside a box and throw down for extra camouflage. It was fun and a decent strategy if you were a noob. While exploring, you might have stumbled upon a piano in the middle of nowhere. You could hop on these pianos and play the correct notes, but it was also part of a challenge. People used to land here to earn some XP, but some mischievous players would jump on the keys and totally mess up the challenge for them, causing lots of mischief. If you can't recall these old traps, you might not be an OG Fortnite player. We all know about the classic spike trap, but there were some others that didn't stick around for long. Take the directional jump pad, a favorite for pulling off cool trick shots. And let's not forget about traps from Save the World that made their way into BR, such as the ceiling zapper and the wall dynamo. I nearly forgot how different the original inventory used to be. It seems like it's been the same way since Fortnite first came out, but that's not quite accurate. In the first few weeks, the game's inventory looked like this. It was so basic that they used a plain white PNG for the grenade icon. And let's not overlook turbo farming, a widely used trick in Chapter 1 that allowed players to gather materials at lightning speed. It let you target the weak points, doubling your harvesting speed. Almost all the streamers use this trick. Something you might not have noticed was missing is the infamous cartoon trail. Back in the day, there used to be this cool smoke that followed you while you ran, and I almost forgot about it, but it really added to the nostalgic vibes of Chapter 1. And so did Prison. It was another cool place we used to love in Chapter 1. It wasn't even given a name on the map, but it was a super fun spot to land. It was big, with lots of rooms and treasure chests, but as Chapter 1 went on, it got destroyed and turned into ruins. I almost forgot to mention Fortnite's wackiest throwable from back in the day. We used to have items like the Porta Fort, which were cool, but they just built a tower. Kind of simple. Then Playground Mode came along, and it gave us the spiky stadium. It created a huge arena as big as a whole POI, and I have no idea how we didn't crash the service with all that fun. In 2018, Fortnite had its first April Fool's Day celebration. They don't do this anymore, but back then, they decided to play a funny trick on the players. They secretly made the impulse grenades way more powerful, like 10 times stronger, and this caused people to accidentally launch themselves into their own death. That wasn't the only time Epic played tricks on their players. In places like Dusty Divot and Greasy Grove, they put ice cream trucks with 100,000 health. One of those trucks even made a chest sound. If you manage to break the truck, you might get a surprise chest, or sometimes you get nothing at all. One of the cutest places we ever had in Fortnite were these special spots all over the island. If you looked from a distance, you'd see that they weren't just random buildings. They were shaped like animals, like a fox or a llama. They didn't serve much of a purpose, except for being incredibly adorable. The item shop also used to be a bit different, you might say. 
Back then, you had to level up to a certain level just to be able to purchase the item, and leveling up back then was way harder than now. Let's go way back to the very first hidden spot in Fortnite. Close to Tomato Town, there was a tunnel through a cliff. It looked completely ordinary, but if you broke one of the walls, it uncovered a secret room with treasure chests and ammo. Ever since that day, we've been on the lookout for more hidden rooms. Back in the first season, if you felt like playing pranks on your friends, you could even mess with your own teammates. Team killing was allowed, which meant you could accidentally or on purpose eliminate your own squad. It caused a lot of chaos because some people did it as a joke, while others did it to take their teammates' loot. Do you remember how OP pump shotguns really used to be? Back then, you could really do max damage from across the map. I mean, this wasn't even a shotgun anymore. It was a sniper. It feels like Tilted Towers was always around in Chapter 1, but it wasn't always like that. Tilted Towers were added in Season 2, and before that, the area was just a huge open plot of land. And that was 25. Hold on, hold on, you know I can't make a video on things OGs remember without talking about the double pump shotgun. This strategy dominated Fortnite's meta for months, and people were furious when Fortnite removed it. We'd love to see this back, because the double pump was just so satisfying and fun. Those were 25 things only OGs remember. Thanks for watching.